That was the greatest meal that Avon has ever had. What did I just eat? Uh, about 19 pounds of great, great, great Grandpa Squatting Bear's famous barbecue moose ribs. Mm. How do I look? Did I get any on my face? Here, try a moist towelette. Ah, refreshing. Come on, Yvonne. I want to show you something. And this is Tommy's great great grandmother, Esther. How cry ab? How could such a hideously ugly woman be related to you guys? Excuse me? Oh, look, a picture of me as a baby. Ah, this is his first trip to the park. And this is Tommy's first day at Indy Garden. No one can embarrass you like your family, right, Avon? <laughs> Tommy, I do not know about such things. You see it? I have no family. That was a delicious moose bill. Tommy, good night. <laughs> Yvonne, wait! Tommy, let him be. Besides, I can't afford to have him come back and start eating again. Uh. Me neither. Frenchman Yvonne was his name Exploring new worlds he dreamed was his fame But reading a map was not his forte So poor Yvonne was soon cast away Yvonne, how do you con? Sailing the stormy seas Yvonne, how do you con? No one could hear his pleas He soon found himself in a bit of a pickle The frigid North Seas proved more than fickle Yvonne's navigation would soon cost a price He was knocked overboard and turned into ice Yvonne, how do you con? Hapless volunteer Yvonne, how do you con? Frozen for hundreds of years Three hundred years passed and with some irony His scheme was thought out by what's need to pee Yvonne claimed the land for his country's glory And, and that's, that's the start of the Yvonne story Yvonne, how do you con? Frozen by icy seas Yvonne, how do you con? Defrosted for you and for me <laughs> It is true what they say there is nothing sadder than a short, fat Frenchman crying in his underpants. Yvonne, are you home? There is no one at home. Go away! You'll never guess what project I have to do for school. <laughs> Unless it has to do with moose ribs. I don't care. I'm doing the family tree of one Mr. Yvonne Ducharme. Well, I am sure he'll be very happy for you. <laughs> hey! That's me! I am Yvonne Duchamp! Whoa! Exactly! And I'm gonna do your family tree! That is fantastic, Tommy! A family tree! <laughs> I have no idea what that is, but I can hardly contain my excrement! Okay. I'm gonna ask you some questions, and you just speak into the microphone. Okay, Tommy. Let's start with your parents. I was born to Francois and Sophie de Charme. They were very high up in the court of King Louis. Wherever King Louis went, they followed close behind. Out of my way, King coming through. I would pray that one day I should be as important as my loving papa. And of course, my dream, she come true. Uh, how about brothers or sisters? Aside from my mama and papa, I was alone. Unless you count crazy Uncle Pierre. He was a handsome man with a sophisticated sense of humor. <laughs> Why does it chicken cross the road? <laughs> Ah, 
I have no idea why they call him crazy. Hmm. Well, I guess that'll have to do. Well, it may turn out to be more of a family shrub than a family tree, but at least it's something. Yeah! Oh! Bye! Hold your mooses there, boy. Dad, I can't be late for school. I just want to tell you that I think what you're doing for Yvonne is a good thing. Thanks, but I gotta go. I've also been thinking it's time you went to the sacred snow cave so that you can become one with your ancestors. Sacred snow cave? Couldn't I kind of do it here in the sacred living room? I did it when I was your age. Now it's your turn. Oh, great. Look, Dad, I gotta go. We'll talk about it later. Oh, yeah. But your majesty, it is true. I can eat all I want and still keep my attractive figure. Hey, Yvonne! <laughs> Let's go. You're coming to school with me. <laughs> coming to school? With Tommy? Give me a second while I freshen up. <laughs> okay, let's go. Ah, qu'est-ce que c'est? Uh, yeah. <laughs> And so I put my name here, and Dill puts his here, and now we're brothers! Yes! <laughs> this is the family tree of Yvonne Ducharme. Bonjour, bonjour! Here are Yvonne's parents, Francois and Sophie. At first that seemed to be it, but then I found something more. Yvonne's Uncle Pierre, also known as Crazy Pierre, had two brothers, Bert and Jerome, who, and Jerome, who, and that's what led me to this. Yvonne's most distant relative, his great, 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 great second cousin, the Archduke Pupe of Lisbon, also known as Gaston the Intolerable, 759th in line to the throne of Sarnia. Yeah, that's right. Gaston the Intolerable was possibly the smelliest man that ever lived. I do not know what you have done, but I, Gaston the Intolerable, must punish you for your crimes. Oh, no, no! Oh, and get this! Because of an unfortunate head cheese epidemic in 1634, Yvonne is the last and only living relative of Gaston, which actually makes him royalty. You, uh, you, you mean I have some family? <laughs> this is the happiest day of Yvonne's life! <laughs> yeah, I feel pretty good about it. You should have seen how happy he was to find out he was royalty. I am royalty! <laughs> I command you to stop and receive a hug! Excuse me, uh, what's all this I hear about royalty? Well, turns out Yvonne's a royal archduke or something or other. Huh? Harlan, get out here at once! Ah! You idiot! What's going on? Guess who just discovered a way to make us so rich we'll never have to work another day as long as we live! It's over! Out of the way, a big shot fancy pants is coming through! <laughs> I just don't get what a night in a cold snow cave is gonna do for me. It's so you can be just like your ancestors. You mean dead? Tommy. I did the same thing when I was your age. Oh, uh, you should have seen me when I got back. Yeah. A lovely weather we're having, Mr. Archduke of Up Your Mucklock. Um, um, maybe Yvonne the Irregular. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Yvonne the Incontinent! I like the sound of that! Hey! Looks at me! 
Ross from French. Now tell me again, Duke, how comes we're doing this? For the money, you nincompoop. That little Frenchman has money to burn. All we want is our share. Ready or not, here I come. Who can resist the French country charms of Jean-Claude and Fifi Kalmenberg? And as Yvonne's only remaining living relatives, it should be a cinch collecting the inheritance. Do you like? Hey, me likey. Uh, that's too much, maybe. Mmm. <laughs> ah, that was truly a meal fit for a king. Glad you enjoyed it. Here's your check. Keep the change. Yeah, this is just a piece of paper with a bad crayon drawn of you on it. That is 10,000 Duchamps, the official currency of Yvonne. What's it worth in real money? About 80 cents. I think we have to talk. Hey, mon dieu! A girl could catch a serious flea bag out there. Is there a man sure of Yvonne Duchamp here, Patrons? Huh? Oh, that's me! I am Yvonne Duchamp. <laughs> well, la la la, Jean-Claude. <laughs> it seems we've come to the right place. Two sacred snow caves. Okay. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, is this the sacred snow cave? Uh, depends. What's your name? Tommy Tuckya. Nope. Try over there. Where are you two from again? Paris! Up, you muck luck. Uh, we're from Berry. Near up your muck luck. Berry? Oh, that sounds fancy. Are you sure you haven't been around here before? You seem real familiar. Never. What? B but I just lived down a key. I say, we are so excited to finally meet a member of our very own family. I am the luckiest man in the world to become an archduke and get new relatives all in one day. It is too much. It sure is. <laughs> Amis me, we are going to have the greatest of times. Oh, it's a magnifique queue, monsieur. Probably a big Mary. Harlan? Yippee! The he could have done was clean the manure out of this thing before we got in it. And on your right, the city jail. Ah, I have spent many warm nights in there. When you're gonna bring something on me, Duke. When the time is right. Now, Jean-Claude, when the time is oh, right. Okay, this is fine. My eyes should adjust pretty soon. I'll just sit and wait for my eyes to adjust. Who's that? Don't come any closer. I I've got a rock. You're not Bruno. Where's the Bruno? Uh, I, I think you want the next cave over. ribs are so good, I want to marry them. May we? So nice of you to have us over. <laughs> There's no beating up your muck luck hospitality, but we wouldn't expect anything less from royalty, <laughs> would we, Jean-Claude? <laughs> ah, there, no, there, no, no, we sure wouldn't. <laughs> May we? So, I guess you know about Yvonne's inheritance, then. Inheritance? No! Yup, there's whole gobs of money. Yeah, I got 10,000 on me right now. I suppose you guys will get some of that being family and all. Hey, money means nothing to us. Oh, well, okay. But, but, but if there's money that needs to be allocated, we'll certainly do all that we can. 
There's one little thing you gotta do to get it, though. It says here that in order to be rightful heir to Gaston the Intolerable's fortune, one must spend the night in the house of Ivan. Conversations with my ancestors. Chapter one. Ah! Uh, chapter one. Having a conversation with one's ancestors would... Ah! I hate this cave. Ah! Mmm, <laughs> that was delicious, Maywe. You ain't such a bad cook. Mm -hmm. And since Yvonne is royalty, all his meals will be of such quality. What did we just eat? Poached beaver and frosty moose lip supreme. I invented it myself. <laughs> and now you must inspect your bedroom in Yvonne's brand new, freshly built sub basement. <laughs> ah! Ah! Bet you didn't know I had bunk beds. I ain't getting in that thing. Think of the M O N E Y. M O N. -E Monsters? Monsters? <laughs> exactly. It is always good to do something fun before bed. How about hide and seek? I am coming to get you! Are you under here? <laughs> nope. Duke, I don't feel so good. Remember the money. If it means playing a harmless little game, then that's what we do. The <laughs> rotten <laughs> 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 milk balloons. <laughs> 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 yeah, you have been in there for quite a while now. Evan scared you, huh? That has never happened to me before. Me neither. Not during hide and seek, anyway. Well, it happens to me every time that I sneeze. <laughs> Just kidding. Time for bed. And guess what else? What? what? Bedtime story! <laughs> Those aren't pillows. The bed she is not comfortable? It is just fine, thank you. Here, here let me help. Maybe I can push you in tighter, huh? <laughs> For 60 days and 52 nights, the sea thrashed against their ship. <laughs> it seemed endless. The constant splashing of the sea against the boat. <laughs> and the wind. She was merciless and without much pity either. <laughs> but then, suddenly, the wind! She stopped. But then she started up again! I never knew a snow cave could be this cold, or this loud. Tommy, wake up! Huh? What the? Oh, that cave's always noisy. Bunch of party animals. Are you a... Uh, I'm one of your ancestors. Do yourself a favor, huh? Go over there and tell those guys to keep it down. Yes, sir. made out of his old underpants. Relax. Two more hours till sunrise and it's on too easy street. What's he doing? 
Hmm, I think he's sleepwalking. Don't worry, it's harmless. Ah, thank you, monsieur. Uh, this is a very nice place to sit. Duke, we got to wake him up! You never wake up a sleepwalker, don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> and then when I awoke, poof, they were gone. Monsieur Bill, I could not have been a more gracious host. Some people, eh, Yvonne? Morning, everyone. Well, now, look what the muskox dragged in. <laughs> How was it? Dad, sending me to that snow cave was the best thing you ever did. When I was his age, the only thing worse than that snow cave was the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> you think he'll find us here? I hope not. Which one of you guys was with my sister last night? Here's your guy right there, huh? Oh my goodness! 